pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? For the first time in my life, I was lucky enough to catch a lunar eclipse from my backyard. And it almost didn't happen because as soon as I got all set up with the camera, tripod, and my little chair, and a cup of coffee, the clouds decided to roll in and ruin a lot of the shots while the moon was in a penumbra. But then out of sheer luck, right at maximum, the clouds decided to move and I was able to see the almost completely eclipsed moon in all its glory. As you can see, as predicted, the shadow of the Earth comes in from the bottom left, moves across the face of the moon, then leaves from the bottom right. The moon's light turns red because red light passes through the Earth's atmosphere, is refracted towards the moon while the blue light is filtered out. This leaves the moon with a pale reddish hue during an eclipse. Red light has a longer wavelength than blue light, which gives the lunar eclipse its characteristic reddish color. This eclipse guide app gave me the time, location, and an image which showed me exactly what it should look like from not only my location, but from Sheeple Phoenix's location in New Zealand as well. I compared his images to the predicted animation on the app and once again, it matched. Sheeple created this graphic by inputting the Earth's and the Moon's known radius value. Then he just moved the image of the Moon in place to see if it matched, and of course, it matched perfectly. It's almost as if the model built into these applications were based on what we see in real life. This is just another example of a model that can make predictions that match what we see in reality. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it.